Hey everybody, Adjective Gaming here. So I wrote a simple Python script that scans a list of 45,000 video games, and it chooses a game for me to play at random. This is Roulette's Play. Technically, this is episode 50, which means we're, we're coming up on the one year anniversary of Roulette's Play. Never mind all that though, let's see what game we get today. Lifescape. Or is it Life Escape? Yeah, of course it's in Japanese. And I guess this is one of the publishers or developers unnecessarily long company logo? Wait a second, it's actually the game? The game actually looks like this. Okay, now I'm heading up these stairs and I'm now entering a vehicle that looks like it's the 1950s representation of what a flying car would look like. Now, here's the moment in, in the video where none of the buttons do anything, and it gets me worried that the game crashed. This unsettling background music isn't helping. Oh, there we go. Here we go, boys. We're off on a great adventure. And we've arrived. Whoops, I accidentally hit R2 again, so I drove right past that level. But hey, this is Adjective Gaming. You only get one shot, you know. I'm, I'm not going back. Oh great, we're at, at our second stop. It seems to be a submarine, and inside it is a room with three objects. So let me just uh, take a peek over here at this sphere containing more spheres. Uh-huh. It's a... well, it's a sperm. And it seems to be trying to fertilize an egg, but no, no, it just stopped halfway. Then it turns into a Mario enemy. I kinda understand. Okay, okay, what, what, whatever, whatever, let's move on. It's a, I guess an education game or something? I, I, I don't know what's going on here. You, you got this flashing ocular migraine of a slot machine, just flashing colors, and it, it it's whatever you pick, the statue gets a robotic, I, I, don't, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Alright, so there's a third object in this submarine. Let's check out the TV then. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Of course, it's a full video of a volcano information. Yes, that's how they get. That's how they get the sulfur samples. Forget. It, I'm gonna go back in my car. Oh, look, another stop with a room with the same three objects. And you, you, you betcha, there, there's more volcano videos. But in this room, I get to roleplay as an orange eel. And there's a... You, you can choose whether or not you want to fall through the world, or just cruise around. I mean, this this game has already done enough. It speaks for itself. I'm, I'm just gonna go and visit the final rooms as a courtesy. Now, in, in this room, you can feed fish... Coke cans. For as long as you like. Coke cans. I mean, I mean, they, they love this shit. Look at this. What? Look. It's like a dog fetching a ball. They love Coke cans. In a normal game, they'd do something where, you know, littering is bad. You'd lose points for for feeding fish Coke cans. But these fish love it. You know what? I'm, I'm really getting into this game. I'm really loving this game. Hit me one of, one of them one of them educational videos. Thank you. And I'm not entirely sure that what they're showing here actually exists. It's, it's, a, it's a fish that uses physics by propelling itself off of objects with its fin to attack its prey. I don't believe anything about this game, I think they just made up stuff. Oh, that's it? It's over? That was, that was the last stage? But I, ha but I have so much more to learn. You have more to teach me about fish, the sea life, and volcanoes. So uh, there's actually a little bit, a little bit more um, content. Uh, there's actually a portion of the game where you create life within uh, a, an Illuminati pyramid. Uh, you can structure the DNA how you like it, and then so it creates the life, and then you're able to uh, put that creature on display. You can rotate it, and it has this great music playing in the background. It has, it has Japanese all, all, all over this screen. Um. A perfect score. A perfect score for a perfect game. 